All of us Power Rangers fans are waiting for the premiere of the special 30th anniversary episode. In this episode there may be a lot of new things, but they should also bring a lot of references from the past and things that have been left unanswered. One of the things we need to know is what happened to Alpha 5 and if Zordon actually died. Zordon's story in the TV series is not very deep as we only talk a little bit about the war he had with Rita, and we know that she locked him in that tube which is a time tunnel that is outside of normal time. Basically, that tube keeps him in a different dimension of time and that is why he does not age. The question that many have not asked is, why would Zordon die after breaking the tube? We know that the tube kept him locked up, but no one knows if the tube actually kept him alive since it was just a kind of prison. It is a strong possibility that much of Zordon's energy was inside that tube, but his body could be anywhere else in space-time. This is why many theories can arise from the possibility that Zordon's body was not in that tube and that he could somehow return after so many years. If after destroying the tube his body was not there, since no one saw a body, then it is possible that the only thing we saw was his energy, yet his body remained floating in time and now has the possibility of returning as if time had not passed. In the Dino Fury series, we could see that Lord Zed returned and previously Golder had also returned, also Rita is said to be returning in this special 30th anniversary episode. If all of these characters have returned, then Zordon can return. The question is, how can Zordon return? If the theory is that his body is still floating in time, then now that we have the Morphin Masters appearing more in the series, then we could see that maybe the Morphin Masters will pull Zordon out of that time void and give him back all of his energy and bring him back. One of the things that could be different is that this time we could see Zordon's body since if they take him out of that time vacuum then he would no longer be locked in a tube and there we could see his physical form. In the comics we know that Zordon was a great warrior and that the Altarians were blue beings without hair on their heads. If we see Zordon's body with this appearance, perhaps many will be confused because in the two movies where Zordon appears, his body is white and gray. Unfortunately, these two movies are not part of canon, so this appearance of Zordon is not definitive and does not mean anything within the actual canon story. However, it has already been said many times that the comics without are part of canon, so we can assume that, if Zordon were to appear in his physical form, then he should be blue-skinned and with a very strong body. The amazing thing about this whole story is that Zordon could become a ranger and maybe even use the power of white light since this power comes from good and we all know that this is Zordon's power. Because of this power is when the energy tube breaks, this was the same energy that transformed many villains and killed others. A very frequent question that everyone asks about this transformation issue is about Lord Zed's change since now thanks to the comics we know that Lord Zed was also from Elter and was Zordon's master. It was assumed that when Lord Zed transformed, he should have been blue and with his Eltarian body. This is an error since Lord Zed never left his Eltarian body, the body that Lord Zed had at that moment was the same, it was simply a burned body. What happened at that moment is that the evil energy left his body, and he was converted into a human. This is why Lord Zed could be brought back to Dino Fury since what they were really looking for was not the body, 
but the evil energy that had come out of his body, with that and a lot of magic they managed to bring this super villain back. I think that the special 30th anniversary episode is the perfect opportunity to bring Zordon back because in this fantasy world anything can happen. The key is always that they write a good story and that it's not just something like he just appeared using this simple spell. If in this special episode they give us a good story and a good reason for Zordon's return, this episode is going to become the most epic episode in the entire history of the franchise. The return of this character is one of the most anticipated and although many fans have already accepted his death, it is for that very reason that it would be epic to bring him back at this time as it would be the biggest surprise of all. If Zordon returns, even though he can use the power of the white light, they should not use the same suit as Tommy Oliver, they should use a new suit that is very different from the others. This would be a ranger that everyone would want to imitate since we know that Zordon is one of the wisest characters in all of history and with a very extensive combat knowledge. We can even say that if Zordon appears in the special episode, this could be the link between this episode and the new Cosmic Fury series as they could make Zordon the key character to defeat Lord Zed. Let's remember that Lord Zed, who was Zofram, was Zordon's master and that's why Zordon knows Lord Zed's fighting style and maybe he is the only one who has the knowledge and power to defeat him. We must understand that the Morphin Masters don't want to intervene in all this battle and only help the Rangers a little bit, but unfortunately, the Rangers don't have the power and knowledge to defeat such a powerful villain. If the Morphin Masters bring Zordon back, then he can fight Lord Zed and maybe he can be the only one who can defeat him. Leave in the comments your opinion on Zordon's return and what you would like his return to be like. I would also like to know what color ranger Zordon should be and what his power and Zord would be. If you would like all this to happen, like this video, and subscribe for the return of Zordon in Power Rangers.